Does she adopt Matilda? So I'm still a baby girl. Oh, I don't know if I missed anyone out. <clears throat> hey guys, it's your favourite English and media teacher here. Today I thought I'd do a quick teacher tag. Um, just to introduce you to my channel and introduce you to me. Okay, so the first one is, what do you teach and where? I teach English and media to uh, 11 to 16 year olds in East London. How long have you been teaching? I'm in my NQT year, which means newly qualified teacher. Um, so for my training year, I actually taught for the whole year, um, just on a small percentage of a normal teacher's timetable. Um, so yes, yeah, so like a year and a bit. Did you always want to be a teacher? No. I was going to be a singer, I was going to be a ballerina, I was going to be an actress, I was going to be a doctor at one point, a midwife, um, a housewife, a lawyer. But no, um, actually how it came about was uh, I went back to my old secondary school and they were having an English, no they weren't, they were having a music concert and one of my older te old teachers was like, oh, um, we're running a teacher training course, are you interested, yada yada yada, and I was like, yeah, might as well, I was doing nothing, we'll get into the whole idea of leaving university and have it, not knowing what to do in another video. But, um, so I was like, yeah, okay, sure, it's something to do, more, I can learn more things and I'm passionate about youth, I've always been passionate about youth. So, um, I didn't know I wanted to be a teacher until the middle of my training. Number four, what is your normal teacher outfit of the day? I don't really have a normal one. On a day where I'm tired and I've woken up late, it's something that doesn't need any ironing. If I've been prepared, you know, I'm feeling fancy and I've prepared the night before. Um, I love dresses and skirts, mainly dresses, just because it's just, you don't have to think about things to put together, just put it on and then you're out the door. But if you guys want to see like a week of work outfits, I'll be happy to do a video for you, comment below. Probably only get one comment because obviously it's my first video, but you know, I can be hopeful. What do you eat for lunch? Nothing. I'm being deadly serious. Sometimes you're like, oh, I've actually only eaten. No, I've eaten nothing. So if you don't bring anything, with our school, we have a vending machine, but it's for coffee and tea. Um, we do have a school canteen, but because I'm too lazy, I don't have time to set up my fingerprint and the whole process, I can't eat there. The corner shop, there's chicken and chips, but you know, a girl is trying to lose weight and um, the corner shop obviously just, just sells snacks um, so sometimes if I'm really hungry and I'm low on sugar this is why I've got really bad teeth I just eat sugar because I've got like tea and sugar set up in my classroom but yeah that's bad but if I am prepared you know I have some leftovers if I've gone out the night before and my mum's cooked because I still live at home yes I'm still a baby girl um, or I'll cook something with a pasta or rice base and vegetables and like fish or a uh, chicken because it's just easier to make um and also i could do another video of low prep to no prep meals if you'd like what is your favorite teacher movie my favorite teacher movie has to be matilda okay i know it's not like super teachery no it is but miss honey she was so sweet and the pastoral side of teaching is what i'm so passionate about i just think it is so important to care about a child as a whole rather than them just coming in and having to learn what you, you want to teach them um, and just her compassion and her passion for her students and then at the end does she adopt Matilda I don't know I don't know but it just kind of reminds me of who I'd like to be as a teacher um, to realize that they these children that I am teaching have other external factors um, that they come in with into my lesson and just to be aware of that and that just because you're a teacher doesn't mean you don't have to be kind and you can be understanding and go the extra mile for your students who was my favorite teacher this is difficult for me okay it's gonna be a long one actually um okay i say my first 
favourite teacher would have been Miss Winston or Miss Winston, Miss Winston I think. Okay, and she used to have like this dark, um, deep, reddish, burgundy nail polish, that's what I remember of her. Anyway, regardless of that, she was the first teacher that told me I could sing, right? So I remember we were, um, she was doing auditions for our Christmas concert or something and I sang a Destiny's Child song, but I can't remember which one, which is so annoying, and she was so excited and, and pushing my parents to get me into stage door and stuff and all of that she was just a lovely teacher and then I had Mr Hollows and Miss Crow who pushed me further along and they ran the musicals in our school and I just loved them um, they were my year three and year four teachers teachers and then we zoom passed into secondary school and then I have Miss Hook who was my music teacher but also the choir director and she again you know grew that love of singing and was just so passionate about her students i mean because of her i was able to go to china in year seven um where else have i been amsterdam germany where else did we go we sang in strasbourg cathedral i don't know if i said that right forgive me strasbourgians um sang in the o2 miss pellegrini Okay, she was my form tutor, super cool, loved her. Um, yeah, I'm starting to leave anyone out, do I? Oh, Miss McGuinness and Miss Burke. Okay, they were my sick form tutor teachers. They taught me philosophy and theology. Um, I loved them. I don't know what it was about them. They just, lots of fun. I remember their lessons being just good women oh delia smith who was my head teacher at the time wicked woman i don't know there was just something about her. ask any girl that, gone, that has gone to my school my secondary school and that woman just yes every, yeah she she was about it she was that woman she yes okay um oh i don't know if i've missed anyone out um, yeah, those are my favourite teachers because one cannot pick one, okay, when so many people have shaped me into the person that I am today. You know, they say parents have the keys to a child's life, the teachers, they have the spare key. So I thank you guys for making me who I am today. <laughs> um, your favourite YouTube, who are your favourite YouTuber teachers? Um, I'm not gonna lie, I don't have any or, or Instagram influence, blah 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 kind of teachers. I don't have any. That's because I just don't follow any, um, and I don't know anyone. But actually, there, there are a couple of Instagrams that I follow. Let me find them out. I also tag them below. But let me just say it too. Oh, what's it called? Oh, there's talent teachers that my friend has just started, which is great. A platform for young female teachers in London. To network it's a beautiful thing when a career and a passion come together unknown which is fantastic which is a fantastic one and there's another one that makes me laugh all the time um, teachers things I think it's called yeah <laughs> teachers things it's just teaching humor advice tips and stories teach anywhere in the world on oh, that business yeah um, yeah that's the favorite thing and finally classroom management tips now this is hard because it just depends on the thing so for low level noise for example low level disruption um, it's just consistency so it's as soon as you've picked up on it write your name on the board or whatever sanction you have for them and just kept making sure that that is consistently um, that is, is consistent in your practice um, I would say laying down the rules in the beginning um, one mistake that I did was as soon as they came in, I was like, I had the rules on the board. I was like, this is what you have to do, da 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 da, and da 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 da, and da da. And I felt that it suddenly put up this wall between my students and I. So another approach is to obviously still give them those rules, but just not in such a military fashion. It doesn't need to be like that. Um, and another thing to keep in mind is that it's never personal sometimes we tend to forget that these are little humans who don't have the tools to manage or to cope with things that are happening in their lives at the moment so imagine that and then all the things that can happen and where I teach um, I'm not gonna say it's deprived or blah 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 because I hate using those kind of words but it's not not every student has the best start in life or the best home environment um, 
so you have to consider that and they carry that with them and it's unfair for you to expect them to leave that out because things affect us and we can't detach them from work well we can but you know we're adults um so not to take it personally and to allow it to just once it's done and it's dealt with just move on from it um another what's another thing that i like to do um oh always explain always always explain why you so i guess it's not classroom management but it's kind of afterwards but if i've given them a detention or any type of sanction i always explain why their behavior warranted that and why that behavior is unacceptable i also try to um, bring it down to just human level and just morality and sense of respect um and compassion and all of those things um yeah anything else do i um I think a great classroom management technique is to reward good behaviour before punishing bad behaviour in the sense that if you've asked them to do a task and somebody's get people are getting on with it, pick out that student and know, and tell them how amazing they are for doing that rather than Billy Bo Billy Joe that is not doing it, okay? Because suddenly the others pick it up and they want it, you know, as humans we want that praise. Some of them don't, doesn't work with, with every single one, but I've I've tend to find I've found I tend to find <laughs> that um, that also works. So this was my teacher tag. I hope you enjoyed it. More videos to come. Please like, subscribe and comment. Also share, you know, share that love. Happy teaching guys.